Hi guys, doing another Diner Series 3. I believe this is in fact the cake, so let's see. Moment of truth. Let's open this one first. Yeah, we got some icing. Cake stand. This time it's a pink. Whipped cream table. Those are very pretty sprinkles. We have orange, yellow, and pink, it looks like. And the cake itself, which is already layered, so we won't be physically making that. We're just gonna ice it and decorate it. Here's what they have the rainbow cake looking like. And the instructions just have you icing it, adding the whipped cream sprinkles cure. So pretty easy. The only thing I've kind of not liked in the past is it's a little hard to hold it so you can do like the sides first or the top first and cure it and then do the rest of it um, I find that that's kind of easier so I think I'll do the sides first I think that will be best and I might be able to do that single piece just all by itself at once since I could hold it from over here. So let's actually start with that. Let's see how many whipped creams we have too. We have pretty many, two, four, six, eight of them. And we did get a spatula. I'm gonna use these, I love these things. They're blunt at the end so they're not sharp. Oh, I forgot about that important prospect. I think I'm gonna do a crumb coat, as they call it, the real professionals <laughs> call it, um, where I'm gonna put a little bit on and cure it and then add a second layer of the icing, just because it's so see-through looking and I want it to be thicker. So I'm just holding it like that. Gonna put a even, base layer on and set that out to cure. I'm going to do the same thing with this bigger piece but I'm going to do the sides first and not worry about the top until later. I think we have plenty of resin to do this but I'm testing it and it does show on the instructions that theirs was still see-through. You can still see the colors on the outside. But honestly, that's a little goofy because it's not like that in real life. You can only see it on the inside once you cut it. So I'm not too concerned with that. There are some chunky pieces in this resin. See how it's like globbing up? It's like it started to cure before they sealed it or something. I'm going to try to put that off to the side. Not sure what's going on with that. But we have a tiny thin layer. May or may not help. We don't know. We're testing it. But I'm going to put this on the stand and go cure it. Okay, I'm going to do the top now. I did have it outside, but it does seem a little sticky? Question mark. So I'm going to put the top on and then put it back outside. And then when I come back, we will do the final layer of icing. Look how chunky it is. It's so weird. Can't get like a smooth... base with it. All right, out it goes. Okay, these are all nice and cured. So I'm gonna do that smaller piece to add more icing to it. I 
I don't know, I kind of feel like I should do this side and cure it really well and then do the top. It just gets difficult to hold. So I'm going to add a bunch of sprinkles. And I have these very sharp tweezers. I'm going to place the sprinkles anywhere it's blank and then kind of move them around and make sure I like them where they are. Press them down. I want a lot of sprinkles. And I have everything I use always linked below. The tweezers, the flashlight, where you can find the series. Normally have a couple places. Amazon, Target normally. I feel like Target always gets me the new stuff quicker. Amazon, sometimes it takes way too long for the pre-orders. They might show there first and I'll order them, but then they become available on Target. Then I'm just able to order them there and they get there before the Amazon ones. And then I cancel the Target one, so that's kind of <laughs> what I do. I'm just going to add a couple more. And then I'm going to set this side out to cure while we do the rest of the cake. I think I'm going to do the side of the cake first. And again, this part you can do in sections. Do not like how clumpy this icing looks. But I do like the fact that I did that extra layer. I think that's going to look a lot better once we get done with all this. I think the sprinkles will cover up some of this lumpiness that's going on. Where is, I'm gonna switch. Is this wide enough to hold it? Oh, yes, but <laughs> I don't think I'll use that. I think it's gonna be easier just to hold it with my hand and rotate it around. Okay, I think I have the whole cake covered. So let's start with the sprinkles. I'm gonna just let them fall and then fill it in. So that I can place them exactly where I want them. You could obviously put a plate under you if you want it to be not as messy, but I don't really care about that because all the ones that are falling, I'm gonna put them on the cake. Gently tap them in and then get to placing them. I'll uh, cut back till when I'm done. That way you don't have to painstakingly watch me do all these. Some people say they like that you guys have more patience than I do because I can't watch people do that. I want like a sped up, quick version. My attention span is not very long. Okay, we have that all cured. Now I'm gonna start with the tiny piece now that I can hold it really well. I'm gonna add layer to the top and I'm going to put the whipped cream on first because I think it'll be easier to place the sprinkles I'll let those fall and then I'm gonna grab them and move them how I want them
I used quite a bit of sprinkles on the side and I was starting to kind of run out so I wanted to pump the brakes a little bit on that I think that's cute this is what the side looks like so pretty covered that's how I wanted it now let's do the top layer I vaguely remember doing the last cake and it was kind of a nightmare. I think I tried, I was going to do it in two steps and then maybe I didn't. I did it all at once, I think. I don't really remember. But so far, I think the way I'm doing it, pretty good. Make sure we get icing all down there into the edges here I think that looks pretty good now we do have a lot of the whipped cream so I'm going to start by placing one there because that would be directly across from that last one we did. And then let's do one here. And one here. And it looks like we'll have two whipped creams left over. Probably could fit them in there, but... I like the even spacing of this. And then once we have those all tapped in, right where we want them, let's sprinkle it up. I'm gonna let them fall where they go. Then the ones that dropped, we're going to individually place those with the tongs. And this takes a while. So I will come back after it's set up and show you the final product. This is the final product and I think it turned out very well. Super cute, love all the sprinkles and the colors. It's very bright and cheery. And then when you put that piece in, fits pretty perfectly with how we have everything spaced out. This one does take a long time to make if you want to be pretty meticulous and place every little sprinkle. Uh, but out of 10, I think I would give this like an eight and a half. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment. Let me know if you want to see me collect the rest of the series. Stay tuned. I think I only have one left. I have the cherry jello mold thing, so I need to go find that one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.